stay Earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists will have to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. This one could twist a marauder's head off. You're easily brainwashed. Glad I found you before the board did. You've run into your share of lampposts. It's as if you're psychologically incapable of feeling anxiety. You're going to be hard to kill, though not from lack of trying. Ah, a blunt force trauma specialist. I might have a job for you. I'll have to ask you for a good sisty pig recipe. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please hover down your engines. Have to be Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Status. 
Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down to <sighs> If drive is Shit. inoperable. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go.
easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Hey, you. Come. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Ah, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired, right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Spacer's Choice Policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? You'd better take my gun, then. Careful. It's worth more to the company than I am. Here, you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy.
here before you get yourself killed don't know where you came from stranger but you best keep your head down there's marauders hereabouts and worse landing violators call on that rung leech landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad i'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about Really? How is he? Of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. You think? Most marauders can't even talk. The criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Moving in! Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health.
Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I have been programmed to communicate with diplomacy and tact. Please allow me to demonstrate. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all born parties in five, four, three, two, one. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Excellent. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification,
The Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie, from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Oh, cool your thrusters, friend. Just out here doing my trade. Gathering remains, tagging corpses, filing reports. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. Eh, no can do, friend. That armor's Spacer's Choice property. Bodies, too. Living or otherwise. Company policy, you see. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Don't get paid bits to chat with strangers. You want to chew the rag, go talk to Silas over by the cemetery.
Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder's disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Nah, no, I ain't that fancy. <laughs> I just dig holes in the ground and fill them with dead folk. <laughs>